Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill. Um, today we are not going to talk about abomination on my head, but if you want to know the story how, why and so on, uh, tomorrow check out the main uh, YouTube channel named skill for l 2 And now without further ado, let's continue our journey with object 244. And I know not many people knows about this vehicle existence and in fact this tank is a tier um, 6 heavy tank. Um, obviously Russian one, uh, but the thing is fellas, this tank was sold only once if I am not mistaken, right? So that's why uh, in a way this tank is relatively rare. Anyways, what do we want to do? I dance for you later, my friend. Wait a second. Do it now. Wait a second. <laughs> okay, easy game. Very nice. <laughs> Firefly, you wasn't on the noticed as well. Well, uh, what can I say, fellas? Yeah, World of Tanks is extremely toxic game. I'm telling you. World of Tanks to uh, toxicity is out of this world. It is madness how toxic this game is. Don't you think so? Don't you think so, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, let's see. We have the Fava moving through the open field. We smacked him once, which is always nice and always welcome. Um, obviously, we do not want to approach tanks like Skoda. It is just simply um, not worth it. Neither we want to fight against the T-29 or IS-2. In fact, for a very first battle, we have a very, very bad matchmaking for ourselves. Um, so we will need to figure out the way how to get involved and how not to uh, get slaughtered here. And this is not going to be simple. The first things first, I would love to see the Skoda T-56 trying to make a bit of pressure like this. That's what I want to see. Oh? Exactly what I want to see. Too bad we bounced the very first shot or I suppose to say we missed the very first shot. But that's completely fine. Now, I bef before I forgot, let's check the gun. 144 alpha damage, well 144 penetration with the standard rounds, 950 shell velocity and gold rounds here, 194 um, millimeters of penetration and 1000 200 meters shell velocity per second which is not looking bad whatsoever it is not looking horrible it is not looking bad or something um unfortunately for us and for our team this game is not looking like a victory okay i can uh, guarantee you that and i can tell you this this is not a victory um I have an idea how we can approach enemies without getting banged. So we are moving sideways just like so and we have and we found the M6 in the middle. Oy oy. M6 in the middle of the field. Oy oy oy. oy. That's actually not that bad. You might think it is horrible and actually it is. E fail. Okay, no complaints, no regrets. Look, fellas, I misplayed this battle. I decided to be so much more aggressive. And I did not realize that enemies already cleared the side. And since they cleared the side, yeah, this is uh, um, this is not the best performance. That's okay. First pancake burned. Let's teleport to the scoreboard. We are back, fellas, with a burned pancake, but it is okay, it happens for everyone. So we have only 500 damage and 300 assisting damage, and it just happened we were bottom tier against the tier 8s, and unfortunately my performance obviously wasn't the finest. That's completely fine, I am feeling great, uh, um, and you can't do absolutely anything about this. So, uh, what I can compare this tank with... Kava 85, it is actually fair comparison, although this vehicle is a bit uh, um, tinier and the gun of this tank is pretty much um, stock gun of the Kava 85. This is the main difference. If you would pay attention, fellas, um, the difference uh, in the gun, yeah, it's kind of visible. Stock Kava 85 gun uh, is a bit worse than the top gun of our premium tank. All in all, this vehicle is not horrible and everything is completely fine with it. Would I rate this tank best tank in the world of tanks speaking about the Object 244? Uh, no, it's not. But it is 
is not bad either. The first pancake burned, the second pancake is going to be so much better. So let's go into the game. And we are back with round two. So what do we have? We have the... Yikes! Once again, not the finest conditions for ourselves. We are fighting against the tier 7 tanks. Plus on top of that, there is 3 Jeffs. Uh, but it is how it is. Nothing what we can change about that. Anyways, our goal is relatively simple. Um, what we are going to do, we are going to take the first uh, typical uh, sniping position just to punish enemies whenever they are going to do uh, silly goose decisions. Right? That's all we care about. And as you can see, our chaff is going in front like there is no tomorrow. So if someone is uh, sitting in the typical bush like this the guy does, we are going to get some free use of all this. Even though I am spotted, I am not too paranoid to run away from this position. And the main reason why I'm not too paranoid to run away from, uh, from here is because enemies are focusing on our light tank who went in front like there is no tomorrow. And as you can see, this is how quickly we are opening our score and this is how quickly we are getting um, 700 damage um, it took no time whatsoever and that's very good stuff anyways by any means this is only the start and we can get so much more from this and we are going to go uh, for that um, so at this point I am thinking about making some pressure to the middle. I am very very well aware of that light tank is still sitting in the middle. There is no doubts whatsoever he is sitting there. So what do we need to do? We need to make sure we are going to punish him um, for his mistake and for his stupidity. So first things first we are going up like so and look at this. He shed his pants, he tried to escape, we loaded high explosive ammunition and we simply killed him high explosive ammunition is nice 300 um, alpha damage with 44 millimeters of penetration this is uh, this is truly great this is truly great for a tier 6 tank to punish light tanks it is uh, like bread and butter. Speaking about bread and butter, we have the Nashorn who is sitting here. But you know what? I changed my mind a bit. I made a decision not to make a hardcore pressure through the middle. The main reason why, so first of all, we have one gentleman who is doing so. And second thing, uh, which is probably even more important, uh, enemies are already trying to flank our team like this. So what do we want to do exactly? We want to take either this position or either this position here and we want to secure our base uh, from getting captured. And I believe that makes sense. Meanwhile, our T-34-85M died. Um, once again, this is understandable because this kind of pressure is absolutely... Uh, hardcore you know um in order to make pressure like this you know you need to know exactly what you are doing and if you are taking upper part here or upper part here uh this can be very very bad ending for you speaking about the bad endings fellas yikes um we are losing this uh, battle quite uh, heavily we are not winning this side and we are not actually covering this side either so uh, more i am looking into this more i I think we are going to get banged in this game but you know what we are not going to give up we are going to fight till the last moment and we will try to get as much use as we physically and possibly can that's what we are doing now if we are going to see enemies capping the base, we can always go for a base, uh, the capture. Um, if we are seeing enemies making pressure like this, we can actually punish them like there is no tomorrow. And we should be able to win one against one fight um, versus T-34-85. Because we have pretty much the same gun like this guy does. And he knows he is doomed. He knows he cannot do anything. And I'm very, very happy we had a Nashorn who uh, helped us in this uh, complicated moment. Now, what will come next? You see, the Tiger P is going to get involved in a moment. So what we need to prepare, we need to prepare for Tiger P um, going just like so. Beautiful Tiger P is in the open field and oh boy, so oh boys. It is about the time to start uh, slaughtering this gentleman. I am going to go with a gold ammunition. Um, honestly, at this point, I don't really care that much. Um, and the main reason why I do not really care that much because we can uh, simply use our DPM 
to slaughter him, right? If obviously it is going to be possible. Nashorn is very, very close to us, and if he is going to go in front, Nashorn should be able to punish him. Meanwhile, um, I am thinking about smacking him into his um, cupola once again. Unfortunately, I failed doing so. That's okay. Two critical hits, that means he might be armor act as well, and that would be absolutely amazing, but at this point I am trying to... Oh, he just missed. Nice. Ooh, enemies had Nashorn here as well. Ay, ay, ay. Anyways, even though we are not winning this battle, fellas, we was fighting till the last moment, and I think we did as much as we physically and possibly could. In current World of Tanks, uh, not every single battle is equal and usually one team have an advantage. Uh, maybe they have better spawn, right? Um, everyone knows uh, spawns are not equally good in every single map. Maybe enemies simply had better team, better tanks. Um, doesn't really matter. Enemies are winning, but I am extremely happy with our score what we crafted here. So looking what we have done is 2.8 thousand damage. We killed two enemy tanks and the situation was, oh yoy, yeah. That was the situation. So once again, no complaints, no regrets. We performed well and I am happy with this. Meanwhile, we made 127,000 profits, although 70,000 is coming from the mission itself. Anyways, third game, let's teleport to the action. And we are back. So what do we have? We have pretty uh, good matchmaking for ourselves. Well, tier 6, right? That means we are top dog in the field like anyone else. That's good. Now, what is not so good? We have 6 light tanks. And 6 light tanks, fellas, is quite a, uh, quite a challenge. I'm not going to lie. Uh, plus, on top of that, there is Arta. And yeah, the situation is not looking that great, but this is okay. Um, this is only the start for us, and I know we can make this battle work. At least I hope we can. Meanwhile, we are aiming for the first shot for Vakan. Fortunately, we are missing that, but that's that's my mistake and once again all we need to do we need to open our eyes and we need to try to punish them whenever they are going to do a silly goose decision right and silly goose decision they do trying to go for a blind shot this could be uh, a blind hit unfortunately it is not the case and we have the um cover two very very close to us meanwhile our cover two is getting pushed by oi Woo! Yeah, this is what you can expect from the lower tier. Um, overall speaking, a gameplay, right? Sometimes your um, allies can be a bit bigger enemies than enemies themselves, but that's fine. This is uh, the game situation. It happens for everyone. Meanwhile, I would say we are going to try to punish this cover too, especially when he is not paying too much attention for us. Beautiful shot to this cover too. Can we get another one? Oh, yes, we can. Okay, I did not react it properly, so once again, I can't cry that much, trying to go for another one, and Mr. Oi just smacked us for 300 in the face. I am very, very well aware of how the things are looking like and what I am doing, and I know... I am being very, very aggressive. I am very well aware of that, but sometimes aggression is only one way how we can play this game. Don't you think so? Um, unfortunately, bounce a shot to enemy cover too. Meanwhile, as you can see, Oi is paying a humongous attention. That's fine. Step by step, little by little, fellas. Step by step, little by little. I know I shouldn't be spotted at this time. Um, at least I am feeling very great with how the things are looking like. And at this point, I am going uh, uh, to punish maybe Hellcat. You see, this tank has a bit of the problem. Since it is premium Kava 85 in a way, uh, the gun depression of this tank is literally depression of the Kava 85. And what kind of gun depression Kava 85 has? None. Well, this is the problem of this tank. Would I say uh, this vehicle is absolutely disgusting and you should never ever play with this tank even if you have one? No, nah, not really, fellas. Um, this is not that horrible of a vehicle. It is not that bad of a tank. And believe me, this vehicle can definitely work. Um, what I want to do at this point, at this point I want to start making pressure for the enemies in this way and the enemy Hellcat is punishing me for my aggression. Yikes, this is not good fellas. 
This is definitely not good. Can we smack this guy once or twice? Unfortunately, we cannot. Mm. Look, I did not manage to find a way how to be aggressive in this situation. This is very, very sad story, but it is the case. Um, at this point, we definitely need to kill Mr. Oi. This is very important stuff. Whenever this Oi will die, we can think about Mr. Hellcat for obvious reasons. And here we go. Mr. Hellcat is sitting in the open field, he, uh, field and he's running for his life and he can run as much as he wants. He is dead. Remember the previous game when uh, enemies had no team whatsoever? Uh, well, when we had no team whatsoever and enemies slaughtered us. Well, in this kind of situation, this tank has the same situation, fellas. So, I believe I do not really need to say uh, the games are not very equal nowadays and it's just how World of Tanks is looking like. You know, I am not um, cherry picking the replays, which to show for you. I am going straight into the action. Sometimes I am having a warming up round and everything, right? But uh, um, usually I am... Jumping into the game and you are seeing what you are seeing and this is how world of tanks is looking like nowadays We are 20 minutes into the video. Well, you are seeing below 20 minutes and this is the score which we have shame I will go for extra game because I think this tank uh, Deserves more so now after three games we have only 1.4 thousand damage and 200 assisting damage That's quite bad. So let's go for one more game and I believe we are going to fix everything fingers crossed Let's go and we are back fellas with a tier 8 matchmaking. Okay fellas fingers crossed my goal in this game is to get at least 3000 combined to fix our overall performance with this tank and this tank can um, do it well. So first things first, what do we want to do? I want to take this side position here at first um, and our goal is um, to spot enemies crossing like so or alternatively to shoot if someone is going to get spotted right this is the goal this is the hope and this is the dream so let's try to do so fellas let's try to do so good we are on the corner and now I want to see Chrysler, King Tiger or anyone else without camo crossing like so. I cannot go a bit more aggressive here or can I? The thing is then there is a humongous chance I will get out spotted and I don't want to see this happening. Uh -huh. So what do we have? We have a Chrysler and, uh, sitting... Um, in the ice road this is completely understandable and in fact i have a plan already how we are going to punish them for making pressure for our team now you might think skill what the flying if you are even talking about how you can even punish chrysler well it is quite straightforward all we need to do we need to reach this position here and if we will do so we should be able to see enemies making pressure like this if enemies will make pressure like this we are going to start spanking them in the side that's the whole goal and that's the whole dream speaking about this uh, um, play and speaking about this position and in fact this is only one way how we can approach enemies in this map at this point um, making pressure like this it is literally suicide going like this it is suicide going like this it is suicide so we want to have a crossfire to the meaty enemies who are trying to get involved like so speaking about the meaty enemies there is one how are you doing how are you enjoying yourself good so yeah this is our play i am very very well aware of the king tiger he is looking directly at us but honestly i don't really care too much all i need to do i need to wait until they will start making pressure like this and eventually they will it is matter of the time fellas this is literally matter of the time whenever enemies will start being uh, involved and as you can see everything is looking pretty good for now speaking about pretty good can we penetrate him like so no we cannot at this point i can only load gold ammunition and even with a gold ammunition this is not going to be um too easy anyways wait for it wait for it fellas this is only the start um whenever king tiger is making more pressure we are smacking him in the uh, face or in the side of the turret and ooh, 
This is not looking so easy and so simple indeed. How are you doing, mate? Beautiful. Very, very nice. Let's keep up the work, fellas, and let's try to punish this King Tiger as much as we physically and possibly can. Once again, not the easiest play, um, but this is what how World of Tanks um, is looking like, especially whenever you are a bottom tier and especially whenever you are getting a bad matchmaking for yourself. And let's get real, you are not guaranteed to be the top tier all the time by any means. Although the highlight of this battle is we are winning this game, right? I believe we are going to win this battle and I believe we are going to get relatively a lot of use um, for our game and for our tier. Beautiful tracking damage, very nice. We are sitting on one and a half thousand already and obviously at this point this is kind of ending for us. Although we know Baka is waiting pretty much until we are going to get closer and until we will claim him. Meanwhile, there is two T-44s who are sitting on the bridge and they are pretty much the biggest problem for um, our team at this point, fellas. At least that's what I want to believe. I want to believe they are the biggest problem for our team. He will smack me once, I don't really mind, and there is other guy who is sitting close to him. At this point we are waiting until our uh, champion Vaka will come. And whenever our champion Vaka will come, then we are going to get a bit involved here. Speaking about involvement, beautiful shot into the Vaka. Can we shoot him once again? Uh, sure thing we can, very nice. And look at this beauty, look at this beauty. We are farming like there is no tomorrow, very very nice. Meanwhile, I might get penetrated here, but it doesn't really matter too much why so because we are sitting in a very very good uh, situation this guy is dead for us excellent very nice we have 1.9 thousand damage 500 uh, um, damage already so we are sitting on the solid 2.4 thousand and there is still plenty of activity for us to do there is still plenty of decisions for us to do meanwhile uh, we need to pay attention at the back we need to pay attention what is happening and those T-44s, they are thinking they can uh, flank this Vaka like there is no tomorrow. And indeed they can, but what we are going to do, we are going to try to... Yeah, 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 yeah. So bad, such a bad timing, fellas. Could be so much better, but Kavatu found the balls and he decided to make pressure like this. And now at this point, unfortunately, I cannot help our uh, Vaka unless he is going to use his superpowers and unless he is going to be the living crap out of the T-44 and Kavatu. Obviously, he needs to uh, try to focus the um, T-44 for obvious reasons, right? He is the main damage dealer here and Kavatu managed to penetrate him with AP shell, but you know what? It does doesn't really matter. It's not that easy to slaughter Mammoth even though uh, he is uh, faced by uh, quite a humongous wolf pack. It doesn't really matter whatsoever. The cover 2 is still alive. If he doesn't have high explosive loaded, he is going to um, get slaughtered for obvious reasons, right? And as you can see, he is keep shooting APs and with APs he cannot penetrate the Vaka. So all and all, um, pretty good battle for us considering what kind of tier we had and what kind of matchmaking we had in the end of the day. So let's see what is our performance after four games. I felt like we had two good games and um, I felt we had two bad games uh, um, as well. And it is very, very hard to show that middle. But I think uh, everything went pretty well for a video in general. You see... It, whenever you are fighting against the tier 6s, then the situation is completely different. Whenever you are fighting against the higher tiers being a tier 6, it is so much more complicated. So what do we have? Whew, Vaka had an absolutely amazing game. Anyways, we are second by the damage, we are second by experience, we made a bit of profits as well, and I am happy how everything turned out. And we have 1.5 thousand damage and... Uh, 300 assisting damage. Not the greatest session ever, but I am accepting this and uh, the whole session for us was like a roller coaster. Starting shit having good game, starting shit having good game. It's just how it goes. 
Anyways, fellas, thank you very much for watching. And tomorrow you will have explanation why the flying F do we have this. So thank you and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.